This video reviews the procedures to follow when installing buffers dunnage bags. It also suggests ways to best prepare a load for transport. More detailed information can be found in the Buffers USA dunnage bag installation manual. To make inflation easier, Buffers USA offers an inflation kit that fits both bags and comes with a low pressure gauge for easier monitoring of fill pressure. Proper placement of pallets is the first step in preventing damage from load shifting. Make sure the pallets are side shifted all the way tight to the container walls. Do not leave a gap. When ordering bags, keep in mind that the bag does not have to be higher than the pallet and should be about 8 inches or 200 millimeters off the floor. To determine the bag size, the width of the bag depends on the size of the void it needs to fill. If the pallets have different heights, go above the short pallet, but not above the center of the second pallet on the tall stack. Placement of bags is critical to prevent load shifting. When the pallets are even side to side, place the bag in the middle. If the last pallets behind the doors are uneven, close the void in the middle. The bag should be placed between the wall and the pallet closest to the door to push the pallets tight together. Let's look now at the proper way to inflate the bag. Hold the bag flat at the top before inflating. Use a step ladder if necessary for taller skids. While inflating, hold the bag in position. You should adjust to the final position before the pressure expands so much it gets stuck. Do not overfill the bag. Use the pressure gauge to determine fill pressure. Here are some tips on how to use load end bracing to prevent pallets from sliding and tipping. When you have an open floor void to the doors larger than about 20 inches or 500 millimeters, you should always use horizontal bracing as extra protection to prevent sliding or tipping of the pallets. Begin by placing two beams horizontally. You can use the Buffers USA self-adhesive bracing lumber bracket to secure the wood beams to the side walls. Make sure to put cardboard around the wooden beams to protect the dunnage bags from splinters that can puncture them. Inflate both dunnage bags so that both pallets are pushed back. Never use dunnage bags between cargo and container doors. Deflating the two dunnage bags is quick and easy. To deflate the paper bag, Simply fit a loose filter tip on the valve. To deflate the polypropylene bag, unscrew the valve counterclockwise. Once the pressure is out, you can store reusable bags for future use. Lay the bag flat and start folding it from the bottom towards the open valve to push out any remaining air. Store the bag folded flat. The Buffers Dunnage Bag Installation Manual contains additional important information about protecting workers, the bag, and cargo.